what is up you guys so I am here today with the wonderful Jeff and we are here to do a a Q&A but more so in the sense of what it's like to actually date a vegan as a non-vegan so do you want to like I guess introduce yourself I am I my name is Jeff it's FA, man. I'm dating this one <laughs> I'm not vegan lucky enough because I enjoy meat way too much um, Let's get these questions rolling. Okay, so first question. What are some positives and negatives of dating a vegan? All right, some of the positives are, uh, generally, I eat healthier when I'm eating vegan, um, because vegetables make up most of the diet. Uh, the negatives is, you know, vegetables make up most of the diet, so when we cook together, it's mostly vegetables, and I'm not a fan. Um, but when we go to restaurants, they're more complicated recipes that taste delicious. Certain restaurants. So, second question. Has dating a vegan made you consider going vegan? Uh, not at all. No. I think, I think <laughs> if anything, it would be like those documentaries that really push it. Uh, but still, at the end of the day, the animal's are already deceased. Are you out of your goddamn mind? I'm sure that's gonna be a really popular opinion. So you better check yourself. Third question was, uh, how does vegan food compare to non-vegan food? Uh, I mean, there's really no comparison. Uh, non-vegan food is significantly better. Although there are substitutes that are on par. But like what about like when we go to Morris and Pancake House, like Yeah, I mean like there's some there's some foods out there like they're they're only changing a couple ingredients that don't have too much of an effect on the final product. For the most part. For the most part, yeah, it's pretty much uh, not even close. Okay. Alright, so now I'm gonna go to people who wanted to ask you questions. So first is Jose. What's up, Jose? So does Jeff also take a B twelve supplement? Um, I'm a little, like, not too consistent with it. Like, I'll go on a streak of taking, like, a, like a multi that's high in B12 and other B vitamins uh, for, like, a streak of, like, three or four months, then I'll take, like, a month or two off. Um, I personally don't notice too much of a difference because I know, like, in a vegan diet, you kind of lack those certain vitamins. So, um, yeah, not too consistently, but I should. I mean, if I'm taking a B12 supplement, I always ask Jeff, do you want one? And so, I mean, a lot of times he'll say yes. Yeah. Just like if it's there, he'll take You're it. Pretty generous with your vitamins. Yeah. <laughs> Such a good friend. So I got two Christinas who wanted to ask questions. So first is Christina S. So when you cook dinner, is it easy or difficult to make something that'll cater to both of you? Um, it's usually pretty difficult unless we find like a meat alternative. Um. Something that isn't tofu related. Yeah, he hates tofu. Yeah. Like, a lot. So sometimes it's kind of just kind of sacrificing my dinner a little bit. I mean, one thing that we usually do, like when I cook, or like when we cook, we'll cook something that'll, that's vegan, and then he'll actually put something on the side that's not vegan. He'll add like meat, like a burger on the side, or something not completely not vegan on the side, just to bulk it up because for dinner usually um, I eat around like 550 to 580 calories that's now on a cut but he eats a, lo a lot more than me I probably have like upwards of 1500 calories for dinner yeah so he's a lot more so he'll just try to bulk it up in some way and I think the biggest issue for dinner is that the vegan dinners they're very like they're dense, they're dense, however, they're not calorically dense. So it'll be a lot of volume, but the calories will be low. So that's yeah. the biggest issue, I think. That's an issue for me because um, I can consume large amounts of calories if it's a small volume or even moderate, but like a, a vegetable dish that could be like 100 calories and it's way more volume, I'll have trouble finishing. Yeah. It's like a marathon. So I wouldn't say it's like hard to cater to both of us just adds an extra step they just add steps. an extra step yeah it's like yeah. just more time consuming okay so the next question is also from Christina Christina M so dining out how do you pick places you'll both like um, generally we'll look at the menu first of all make sure that she has options like at least you know at least a handful of options yeah and then we'll go from there there's a lot of restaurants now that have a lot of vegan options um, we yeah. won't go to like a steakhouse, for example. Yeah. <laughs> but most places are fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. I'll look up the menu and I'll research it. And if I do have questions, like if I'm not 100% sure that there's something vegan on the menu, I'll usually call and just ask. Yeah. But Although sometimes you get lied to just to get you in there. Yeah. That's happened I think before. that happened 
what, a couple in weeks York, ago? Yeah. yeah. Why love you lying? Why? Why you always lying? There's always at least something, yeah. or a couple things on the menu that are vegan. Unfortunately, we can't hit like McDonald's or Burger King, I, guess, I think. Yeah. It's kind of hard. Alright, so next question is from my brother. Does she eat grass? Grazes outside. <laughs> okay. But, um, no, I don't think I've seen you personally, though. Yeah. I mean, as far as, you know, she told me she doesn't. So. I'm a closet grass eater. If Jesus turned water into wine. Last question. So, would you prefer a girlfriend who isn't vegan? To me, it, it doesn't matter. As long as she doesn't push veganism on me too hard, uh, it doesn't matter to me. Would you say it's a personality? Would you say push veganism on you? No, not at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think you've brought it up once. It's not, it does not play a factor in my yeah. life at all. Yeah. Like, if my significant other is vegan. Yeah, so the answer is no, pretty much. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any other questions, um, then put them down in the comments below. Uh, yeah, thanks, Jeff, for being an integral part of this channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Now I'm an official YouTuber mm. actually asking you guys to do that. So I will see you guys in the next video, which will be coming out very soon. Peace. Light it up, light it up, light it up.